I'm Batman. Let's get started with the vlog. Alright, we are about to start day number two of the road trip here. We are in Astoria, Oregon. And uh, today we're going to go hit up the Maritime Museum, which will be fun. And then we're going to go to uh, the fort. I can't remember the name of the fort, but you'll you'll see it on here. Um, we're going to go check it out. There's a, supposed to be like a shipwreck over there. And there's also, a, if I remember correctly, there's like some old, you know, broken out bunkers over there. So I know Cody is super excited to see that. We're going to go ahead and get started with the day. So keep watching. Cheryl is making us some PBJs. So we can, this is how we save a little bit of, a little bit of cash and eat a little bit healthier. Yeah. Well, not a ton, but a little bit healthier. So we'll have these packed in the car and ready to roll. We are at the Maritime Museum right here. We're gonna check it out. This little, this thing right here is a Coast Guard boat or like a, a little kind of uh, replica of a Coast Guard boat going up this huge swell. So we're gonna go in right there and we're gonna go check it out. My friend told me you had someone It's called Graveyard of the Pacific. And this is a map of all of the boats that have crashed right near. As you can see, there's a ton right in the middle here. And then all the way down the river here. This boat was from the tsunami and it washed up over here. If you've seen the movie The Longest Hour, that's the kind of that's the kind of boat that they used right there to get all of those guys. How crazy is that? We're in the lightship Columbia right now. Taking a look. Oh here. Take a look right there. We're down inside that. So we're gonna take a little tour around here. I show them all I had a faith in you. I show them all. If you ever want a super creepy experience, go inside the inside of a boat by yourself. I'm completely by myself. And it's a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. It's kinda creepy, I gotta go. We're at the Fort Stevens Park here. I don't know, can you see? I don't know. Let's see, let's go over here. Here, actually, here's a better view. Look at this. These are all World War II bunkers. It's just a whole fort in here uh, during World War II and it was the it was the only place in the continental U.S. to be bombed by Japan. So these these were all the bunkers, all the all the military places um, where they they had all the artillery to shoot everyone. So they had it all stored with uh, the shells and everything. Back over this way, there was all of their barracks and the uh, living quarters. Out here, uh, if you can see it, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go out there. But out there, they actually still have the huge like turret guns that they use to like shoot at the ships and stuff so it's really cool but um, I'm gonna go over here and check out some more stuff where they stored all the ammo. So right down over here, and then some down over here. And look at this, they have like a track system. That's how they move it around in here. Moved on. 
on to road trip bingo here. We have to find these guys like traffic light, bus, all this stuff. Uh, right now, we're just driving through Seaside on our way to Cannon Beach. And then we're gonna stop at the beach at Cannon Beach. We're gonna probably have some dinner there. And then we're gonna head on to our hotel in Rockaway Beach. So we'll see you there. <music> getting some food, having some drinks. It's a fun little place. It was uh, actually uh, some of the early pioneers here. It's over in, not, not Cannon Beach, it's uh, it's a little bit south of Cannon Beach, but um, some of the pioneers came here. There's actually a porthole in the door that is one of the original portholes from this British ship uh, that we just saw the wreckage of. You probably saw it earlier in the vlog, so it's pretty cool. So we're gonna have some dinner and have some drinks, and we'll see you later. Welcome to our new place here in, in Rockaway, Rockaway Beach. We got a little kitchenette. We got one bed just chilling out here. <laughs> in the living room area. But it's also the dining room. It's also the dining room. So you can sleep, eat, and, and watch TV. And there's a fireplace. And then the other bed, there's a big old fridge though. And a big old the other the other one is back here. So you have the other room in the back here. And then we have a full, full on oven. So if we want to make a home cooked meal and then out here, then out here we have, we have a balcony and the beach. Although you really can't see much right there. There's a little fire pit over here. But we'll show you that in the morning. Oh, someone else started a little fire pit too. Okay, we're gonna go inside. So this is how like old school our hotel is. Look at this, there's literally actual keys for the room and a key for the pool. Oh yeah, yeah we went old school with this bad boy. <laughs> 